What you are about to hear is highly classified. Welcome back to Zone 4, everybody. Brad Fowler here again with another Marvel Now number 1 review. This time I'm looking at X-Men Legacy number 1. And uh, this one is written by... Good Lord, I've already forgotten. Um, it is written by Simon Spurrier with uh, art by Tan Inhuit. Um, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. But, uh... You know, I, t I talked briefly about this book on Tales from the Water Cooler when I was a guest on there, and I talked about it uh, briefly on the uh, Dark Avenger Live show. And on both of those, I expressed my um, dislike for this book. Now, in all honesty, I, I think I did mention this on Water Cooler, um, I had only read half of it, and that's because I couldn't get through it. Um, it just, I, I did not like where it was going. Um, I'm still not a fan of the art. I do not like the art style. I'm sorry, Tan. Um, just not a fan of yours. Uh, but as I read the rest of the, of the story, I have to admit I liked it a little bit better. I really wish it was uh, better art and just that the story had a little better flow to it. Um, basically, uh, X-Men Legacy, at least in the first issue, is all about Legion, or David Haller, uh, the son of Professor X. And, uh, of course, anybody that's been reading comics for a while will know that Legion... Legion's a character that kicked off one of my favorite storylines of all time, which is uh, the original Age of Apocalypse storyline, in which he went back in time and uh, accidentally killed his father in the past, which created this whole other universe. So, Legion... Is called Legion because uh, it's, it's kind of a biblical reference. Um, he's got all these multiple personalities. And so apparently he's in this um, this hideaway, this like uh, almost like a monk's retreat up in the mountains. And he's got this uh, guru that is helping him through it. And, you know, we open with these scenes in this, in this weird jail place. And it turns out uh, that and this is a minor spoiler, but it turns out that all these scenes that p keep popping up throughout the issue are taking place in his head, and basically what they've done is they've psychically built a prison for all his personalities, trying to keep them in check as he tries to become a better person. Well, as the story progresses, we see his struggle with that, and every time there's a certain topic pops up, uh, his personalities try to get out. By the end of the issue, something very drastic has happened that could unravel all the work that's been done to keep him sane and to put him on the right path. And uh, so it, this whole first issue kind of served as, an, as a reintroduction to the character. And from here, I believe that he's going to be reintroduced into the rest of the Marvel Universe and, and the X-Men are going to come to play and we'll see exactly where this goes from here. He knows his father is dead now. He didn't for most of the issue, but then he felt it. Uh, there was a shift to uh, the uh, Jean Grey school where one of the uh, telepaths there felt a change. Uh, she said, uh, this is another minor spoiler, but she said that somebody's changed the future. So now uh, and she also said, uh, the king is dead, long live the king. So, uh, not sure exactly what that means, where they're going with this. I have some theories. Um, I'm not going to share those now. But uh, I'm wondering if that means uh, something for Legion in particular. So, I have to admit that uh, reading through the story in its entirety was a little bit more intriguing. Um... I'm still not a huge fan of the way it's written, and I'm certainly not a fan of the art. So for that, it's still going to give it a pretty low score. I'm going to, going to give it a 3 out of 5. I was going to give it like a 2 or 2.5, but I'll, I'll give it a 3. And uh, so I'm, I'm intrigued, but, uh, you know, intrigued enough to maybe possibly try out the second issue. Uh, if it doesn't get any better from there, though, it would definitely be a drop. Um, so that's that that's my review for X-Men Legacy and check back with me soon for another Marvel Now review thanks for watching
This has been a Gonzo Goose production. Bonk!